Okay, so here's the um, second part of our family math with an unknown number, because I forgot to look. But um, so now this is with my younger son. So you're you're seeing this for the first time, and why yeah. don't you move around through the shape and tell me what you think? So let's see. Whenever I go this way, I want to see there. They get more. See, it goes from here to here, and there's a lot more of them. Uh huh. So maybe the shape is infinite because when I keep going. It does it again. Oh. So I think the shape is like a space filling curve thing. So a little so is there anything that so this is kind of the bottom. It's no clear shape, but it looks to be formulated. Like they're bending squares, kind of. Oh yeah, bending like, squares. Quadrilaterals. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll follow it and see. Just in this one part. This is it's like rectangular prisms. Mm -hmm. But the squares. I'm kind of even lots more bent. Really. The shapes only seem to be squares. Okay, well now. Oh, you want to keep playing? Um, what else is there? Press the number six. Hmm. So. What do you see here? This, these are kind of polyhedra, like an icosahedron. Oh yeah, you think that's an icosahedron? Okay. Try to move toward it. There's lots of them. So there's one. It seems like there's these are tiling. Like I don't know if it's the gun side. Go. Looks like I'm only at the edge. Huh. Seems like there's nothing else over that way. Let's see what happens if you go that way. I don't know what's over there. Let's see. It keeps growing. So it kind of follows me. Hmm. Okay. Now let's go look at one of those icosahedron. So what makes you think that's an icosahedron? Well, because, let's take that one. There are, well some of them are icosahedrons and some of them are other shapes. Oh, why, okay, why is that? Well because if you look at this one here, it appears to have the right angle for the icosahedron. Uh -huh. It's got the five on top. Which one has five? This one, uh, this one, so there's one, two, three, four, and then there would be one over there. Uh -huh. And then here's the middle ring, and then there's going to be one okay. over there. Okay, but do you see ones that don't have five? Oh well, yeah, there's this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, interesting. So you think they're not necessarily all the same shape? Yeah. There's that one. Okay. Can we see what happens if I press the number six again? Sure. But how about press the number one? You're in for a big surprise. Hmm. There used to be people connected together. So, can I get in on... Let's see. There's a ring of people there. And then what happens if I head into just one of them? So it's just like these, they're holding each other. Yeah. And 
humanoid shapes. They look like monkeys, kind of, because they have these tails. Yeah, they do kind of look like monkeys. I bet you're right. Hmm. And were any of their numbers do anything? I don't know. Why don't we find Six, out? Two. That turns into um. Uh, these are more kind of more sided, bigger sided polyhedra with more sides. Okay. I would try number three. Um, hmm. This is interesting. This kind of looks like a combination of triangles and um, kind of bent octahedrons a little. Hmm. Number four. These, they're just floating. Probably, uh, these shapes, I don't know. They might be icosahedrons. Oh, why don't we see if we can count how many triangles go around the edge of uh, one. I'll try this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that, that they're such six shape again. Huh. So, number five. This kind of looks like what we had on um, number three. Look about the same. Okay. Number six, we already did that was that thing. Number seven, like a grid of squares there. In a grid of squares. This looks like a little four dimensional here. Huh. This was where this appears to be where we started. Yep. Number nine. Hmm. Kind of linked kind of kite shapes. Hmm. So there's these diamond sort of shapes that are linked. And maybe zero. Zero doesn't do anything. Now what do you think about these shapes? What pretty neat. They're, it's a pretty cool game program. Yeah, now this is this is all exploring a very different kind of geometry than the geometry you learn in school. So it's actually neat just to even hear what you say about it. Mm. But you can keep playing with it if you want. Mm. Cool. All right, good job. Huh?